baptized for the reasons you we are other Christ to go and to share, to talk, to, to be Jesus to others. Oh, not me. It's you. <laughs> we are all called, and it's a time for leadership to wake up. It's a time for leadership to wake up. Did you hear what I said? Yes. To take hold and to be obedient to what the church is teaching. I remember in Ireland once, I was walking past this news agency and I had a, a, a porn magazine as I looked in. And I really felt in my heart, Brian, go and pick it up and give it to the owner and say, this is wrong. And I didn't do it. And I got down to knock. I'd done it before, but this time I didn't do it. I went down to knock, and I was so convicted in my heart. Go to confession. You were disobedient to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. I really don't have to go, do I? <laughs> Some make excuses. Bro, oh, I'll go. I went to see this priest. He's a really old priest. I told him my name, told him what happened. He said, Brian, evil spreads. Because good people do nothing. do nothing. And I was so convicted. I was so convicted, my brothers and sisters. Evil has spread because Brian did nothing. Put your own name there. Evil has spread because Susie did nothing. Evil has spread because Thomas and John and Barry and Elizabeth had done nothing. We have to be responsible. I have to own that. It's not a message of condemnation. It's that, yep, that's Brian, Lord. I've done nothing. When you've inspired me to do something, I did nothing because of fear or because of laziness, of course of apathy. You're listening. The Bible says I have ears, but they don't hear. Do you have ears this morning? The, are the ears of your heart opened up? If the charismatic in you is dying, it's be dying because of you. But you see how many fingers are pointing back at me? <coughs> it's because we are doing nothing, my sisters and brothers. But I'm praying, Lord, fine. But go and do what I tell you to do. But there's no buts in the kingdom of God. Go and do it. And if you're going out shopping, put your hands up if you shop for food. Or does food get delivered to you from heaven? <laughs> Put your hands up if you go for a walk. Put your hands up if you go to work. Glory to God. Look at all those evangelizers going out. You're going out, my sisters and brothers. You don't have to do anything special, but I encourage you to do something special. You're already going out, so start speaking. Or you might have a notice if you're an office worker. Jesus loves you. Yes, he does. Because the Bible tells me so. I mean, could you get that off your desk, please? This is coming from a message of one of the girls in Sydney. She goes to charismatic. Can you get that off your desk? That's so offensive. She went, no, it's my desk. And she kept it there. People started to complain. She said, it's there. It's my desk. Get lost. If you don't want to read it, don't read it. It's my desk. Why is it upsetting you? You see, this whole thing of political correctness... Don't fall prone to it. Fall prone to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Amen. Very important. Whatever way, whatever way you're going to evangelise, do it together as an individual, as you go out into your workplace, into shopping, into the sporting world. Come to me, all you.